guys, welcome back to All Dolled Up. Today I have a much requested hair tutorial showing you how to create these waves using a GHD or any other straightening hair straightening tool for that matter. So if you want to see how to get kind of big voluminous curls, then keep watching. Okay, so I've got damp hair, I've washed and conditioned. Um, so now what I do is I apply a couple of products onto my hair. They are from Moroccan Oil, not sponsored, I just love Moroccan Oil. So through the roots I apply some of their volumizing mousse and then through the rest of the hair I apply the thickening lotion which really bulks up the hair and makes it look nice and full. So I learned this trick from Sharon Farrell when applying mousse into the roots as you spray it into a brush. This is a tangled teaser, I'm not sure what it's called but it's one of their styling brushes and I absolutely love this thing. And then you just kind of comb it through, give it a good shake, okay, it's almost finished, oh, yeah. so just do that. And then you just kind of comb it through. That's quite a lot, I might have ever done it. Oh well. Then I'm just gonna take some of the thickening lotion and run it through just that spot, two pumps. Because my hair's quite long at the moment, you could, if your hair was shorter than one will do. Then I rough dry my hair, however I do section off the front portion to blow dry with a round brush because I've got cow's licks all the way around which makes it super curly and I just want to get rid of that curl before I start rough drying otherwise I just need to go over too much with a straightener and it's a loss. So, the sectioning brush, you can see already it's starting there. So I take it kind of to where the ears start, so you can see there. Then I just take this Vaudry ceramic brush and my beautiful lime green Powerlux 3800 eco-friendly hair dryer and I just kind of blow dry it down and around and up just to get rid of all the curls. Now I'm just going to rough dry the rest of the hair. I'm going to tip my head upside down so I get a bit more lift in the roots and I'm going to also kind of alternate it, dry it from here, dry it from there just to also get as much lift as I can. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now my hair is completely dry. It's got some nice volume, nice bit of texture and a bit of hold to it. And I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair and then I'll start curling with the straightening iron. The reason I prefer a straightening iron, and this is the one I have, it's a GHD Platinum Styler number six. I think I've had it for about two, three years. I really enjoy it. It's got a slightly rounded edge here, which makes it perfect for creating curls. I find that with my hair type, the curls seem to last longer for some reason. I'm not altogether sure why. I used to use the Cloud9 curling wand or curling tongue. I'll put the link below, but the curls just don't last as well. And I don't even use hairspray or anything afterwards, as you'll see. And I get kind of two solid days of good curl with the GHD. And I also burn myself less because when I'm using kind of an exposed tongue, I often burn my fingers when I'm trying to wrap the hair around the whole it there and this is also quicker for me as you'll see in this video it takes me I'd say 10 minutes not even 10 minutes to do my whole head here we go I'm just gonna start it up okay. these are just little duckbill clips got them from Discam. so I'm just sectioning the hair like this and then I'm gonna go and section it again into two sections on each side and then clip away the section that I'm not working on now it depends on how intense you want your curls to be. I like a kind of looser wave, so I work on big sections. And the technique that I found that works for me is actually holding the straightener upside down, like this. So I'll clamp the hair and then roll it. So I'll hold it and clamp it and then I move my hands underneath and hold them here to keep it closed and to also keep the hair in place so it doesn't slip out. And then you just roll it to the lengths, to the ends of the hair just like that. So you can see there. I know you can't see the bottom of my hair because of the crop. So yeah, you can see it goes all the way to the bottom there. You can alternate the way you turn the iron to get waves that aren't uniform, which is what I'm going to do. But typically the rule is for the, for the hair that is around the face, you always curl away. Because if the curl folds over onto your forehead, it just it doesn't look good. It kind of makes your face look smaller and they don't look like Victoria's Secret hair waves. So, there we go. Comb it through, clamp it, and now I'm turning in the other direction because I'm going away from the face. 
again hold at the bottom and then with my index finger I'm just kind of holding the hair there so it doesn't slip out There you can see you've got another way of there. Julia's just said that takes a lot of coordination. I should say it's taken me 15 years to learn how to do this. So when people say to you, it's really easy, it's not easy, it's hard. And it takes a lot of time and practice. And I'm thrilled that I finally mastered it, but it's taken me a really long time. So push, like keep practicing and you will eventually get there. But um, unfortunately for those of us who aren't coordinated, it takes a little longer. So doing the alternating waves on the side of my head is a little bit harder, so I'm going to show you when I get to the next section, but okay. So hold it here, turn it away from the face. If it's easier for you, which I also sometimes do, is I lay it kind of perpendicular to my head and then move it parallel. So I'll show you what I mean more in the next section. Okay, so now this is the next section. Again, I've split it down the back, so it's in two sections and then I'm just going to work from the back to the front. Again, as you're moving the straightener through the hair, remember to keep turning it with your wrist because that helps get the curl, okay? So you're going to clamp it, turn it, keep your finger there and then just keep slowly turning it as you go. Okay, now what I, what I said earlier when I meant was holding the wand perpendicular than parallel. If it's easier for you to lay it onto the, onto the wand like this, then do the turn motion and then move it up like that, then just do that. That's easy too and it has the exact same effect. So just keep turning. So doing the alternating wave from the side is a little bit difficult. I have to kind of take it backwards, then quickly grab it at the bottom and then roll it out. So now we're at the, the top section. I tend to take a middle parting first and then because my parting lies on the side then I'll just take whatever little bits left over there and then direct it down and away so that you get that kind of swooping motion across the forehead. I also like to, when I get to the top of the heads, curl it kind of up and back as well just to get a bit more lift. This is why having the finger placement here really helps because you can see the hair is really far down on the plates so it wants to come out so by keeping your finger there and really clamp clamping it closed it stops it from escaping. So that's where my kind of natural parting lies. Now, take these last good bits. Again, rolling back and away from the face. Okay, now with this piece, I'm gonna hold it down and just quickly run it through one time, then kind of swoop it like this away and down so that you get that kind of nice face framing curl. Okay, so we're done with the, um, with the curling portion. I don't use hairspray or anything like that and then the finishing product that I use depends on what kind of look and feel I'm going for. So if it's an everyday office look then I'll put something like some Moroccan oil into my hair to make it soft and touchable but if it's an evening and I'm going out and I want a bit more oomph then I will use some of the Whey dry texturizing spray. So I'm just going to brush through the curls and they will drop as well. They look really nice and full and bouncy and soft. Okay, so I'm going to put some Moroccan oil in. I actually decamped mine into this little teeny tiny travel size one, but I've got a full size at home. So I, I put in the tiniest amount, literally like that much. And then just work it through the ends. Makes it so nice and soft and shiny. 
Okay, so that's my hair tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to create waves using a GHD styler. This video, I just want to say, is not sponsored by anybody. It's just something that's been highly requested and we um, wanted to show you how we both get our different looks. Julia's got another video coming up which shows you how she gets her curls using an actual curling wand. So I hope I've made it relatively easy to follow. And if you have any other questions, please do let us know. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.